Hi everybody, Waxfraud here, and welcome back to episode 28 of the Hardcore Minecraft Let's Play series. We are chilling right in front of the Fox Sanctuary that we built in the last episode. This thing is great because uh, it offers the foxes a nice and cozy home, but the one thing that I was forgetting, and I can't believe I didn't do it on the last episode, was the front hanging plants. Got the chains, we're gonna put some pots down, then we're gonna throw in some of the flowering azaleas, and voila, look at that. I know I said this last episode, but I am so excited to finally have some more buildings over on this side of the map. We even have an area over here that we started landscaping on stream. Run past all the cowage up here. There's so many cows, but this is absolutely insane. If we actually take a flight up and take a look back, we sp we've spent hours on just this right here already. We have a cave that has been uncovered, and we actually, I'm pretty sure there is a hole. Where'd it go? Yeah, it's all the way over here. You know what we could do is actually let these guys out right about here. Yeah, there's, yep, yeah, we have a lot of cows. And one sheep now, it looks like. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that these guys definitely need saving. Let's do our best. Let's go down here and give them a nice little staircase, and that should be it one by one come on now guys one by one let's go up here boom 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 maybe these guys are just telling me to take this uh iron right here i'm not sure maybe, all right how about i just take the iron and then you guys don't have to worry about it anymore please guys come on all right get up the staircase yeah all right what if we do this and you know what actually let's just do this let's completely give them an area to walk on there will be no more floating down here. Come on, guys. Let's uh, let's just let's act professional. No more water down here. The pool party is officially over, guys. I'm gonna have to ask you to get out of here. And let's go here. Let's go. He's literally just using the only water block left. He's like, no, please. Thank you, sir, for leaving. All right, we'll get that blocked off. And all right, cows. Uh, oh, it looks like everybody left except for you two. Now, over the past couple weeks, we have been doing a lot of landscaping, like I've been mentioning, and we have got a lot of coal blocks, as you can see. We have about six stacks, and so what I'm gonna do is probably just go up about and yeah let's just go two by two make a big tower and let's see how much coal that we've got wow just look at that we have an entire city on our hands now there is so much stuff all the way back here to even all the way down here to the new fox sanctuary let's go ahead and just let's just take everything down one by one we're about to have coal for a lifetime okay so it's turning into nighttime uh i probably should sleep i'm not even done with this tower i don't even oh my gosh okay hold on yeah we should sleep and 10 minutes later finally we have a bunch of coal to pick up how much did we actually end up with i'm gonna guess maybe 10 stacks one two three four five six seven eight nine, way more oh my gosh that's perfect Let's start the beacon right about here. Let's put an orange guy right up there so this can go boom. And you know what? I think let's uh, ma let's maybe do a quick Twitch stream, maybe two of them to go ahead and get all of this flattened out. It's about time we get that taken care of. By the way, I do know I say it a lot, but I want you guys to be there anytime you can. Uh, it is twitch.tv slash waxfraud. If you can stop by anytime, feel free. And voila, just like the click of a button, actually with just one like three hour long Twitch stream, we got this entire thing taken out. This whole thing is one giant field of stone and andesite. There was a bunch of grass and a bunch of gravel that we took out uh, to make this area flat. Ooh, there's a little bit over here that we got to take out. This thing is completely bone dry. We even ended up with a bunch more coal, like we've got like six more stacks of the blocks there. So what I'm going to do now is instead of replace everything with grass and take another three hours to do that, I'm just going to go in here and simply just place one moss block and we're going to bone meal this out and uh, it's time. This whole thing is about to spread. We did this on the last episode in the area by the horse stable on the other island, but we have not really made a moss field on this part of the island yet, so I figured this little raised area up here might as well be uh, the right spot. This is probably going to end up taking hundreds of bone meal, and actually while I'm doing this, you know what, I kind of want to show you guys the long plays that we did last episode, so actually I'm just going to go over there right now. We're gonna wrap around this corner over here, and boom, we are here. We are in the front yard of the brand new cozy starter house. This was something that we built over about three hours in a brand new long play. Appreciate you guys for watching that if you did. Oh, the bed. I lost that on stream. I'm glad that we found it. But yeah, this thing was really nice. I, I kind of am, I kind of want to use something like this for uh, a new series if I were to do a new series uh, coming up soon. I'll probably do a long play series. This world I'm definitely going to be keeping for the 1.20 update. But for a brand new long play series, something kind of like this for a starter house seems pretty nice to me. I even did the interior. We have a bunch of libraries set up and a bunch of storage areas set up. Uh, it's pretty simple, but it's nice and cozy. Come around the backside and we have pathways that lead all the way over to the Cleric Trading Farm, as well as the Llama Sanctuary right around the backside. All the llamas are still chilling. They be doing what they gotta do. 
What's up, llamas? Let's go say what's up. How you guys doing? What's up, pal? What's up, buddy? How you doing, man? All right, and while we're saying what's up to people, we might as well stop right over here, say what's up to Daniel's friend. And Daniel, it's, it's been a long time, uh, but I hope you guys are doing well. And next, I think we should stop by and see what John is up to. This panda is straight up floating. What's up? One of these guys is John. It's not you. John, are you one of these guys? But John! What's up, John? How you been? You know what? Let's, uh, let's take this down. Everybody eats, John. Everybody eats. Let's get out of the panda sanctuary, and I kind of want to show you guys the brand new fountain garden that we had made in a new long play, too. On my way there, and I see two heads bobbing up. Oh my god. Okay, so these guys are 100% stuck in the well, it looks like. Can I hop over here and try to help them out? Okay, so how did you, first of all, how did you guys even get in here? I'm gonna do this for you just one time and one time only. I'll let you guys out. You may, yes, get out, do your thing, go have a life, go have a job, go get a job. Sir, do you need help getting out? Or do you, how about this? Do you want to do that? Okay, never mind. You can take that. Be free! But right around the corner over here is... Oh my god, there's a bunch of mobs over there just burning down in the daylight. But over here, we have our new fountain garden. I love this area. This thing is awesome to me because I've never really built like a circular garden in this shape. We have all the lilacs, all the roses. We have the peonies and the sunflowers over on the other side. Even the pig over here loves it. We got a cow over here exploring. We have a nice little fountain right in the middle. It's pretty simple, but uh, the thing that stands out the most to me are these uh, little awnings over here where the plants are hanging and you have the shroom light in the middle. And now the rain is starting. You know what? It, it, it couldn't get any better than this. And I have a few sweet berries left on me, so I figured why not? Let's uh, let's go back in here and see if we can make another fox. Let's get two arctic foxes to me. Oh god, they're running everywhere. Okay, get over here, bud. Let's see if we can. Hey, hey, you, right there. Let's break that grass if we can. And give you one of these, and then we'll go over here. Wait, sir. Stop running around. We'll give you one of these, too. All right, so will you guys make a baby fox, please? Oh, I think we got a baby fox. We have a baby fox. Let's go. Now, let's hop right over to that goal board, because there's a couple things left on it, and we should definitely take a look at it to see what we need to be doing next. Oh, fox sanctuary right then and there, and we'll take that out. We do have a bamboo farm, a butcher trading hall, a shepherd's trading hall, and an armorer trading hall. So trading halls are definitely on the list with one bamboo farm, but I'm getting the feeling right now that I kind of am just leaning a little bit more towards the way not doing a trading hall or a farm today. I kind of want to do some exploring, you know, and there's been a lot of comments, a lot of suggestions on making a map room. I've gotten that about a hundred times already, so I think, you know what, maybe today we work, start working on a map room. Go get the materials to, and uh, go find the place to build it, but I'm thinking I want, like, on a table, like a 4x4 four four map with a closer up on the town above head. Like something that we can uh, remote view, but uh, then on the wall, I kind of want a 4x4 four four very large, like an extra large map. Pretty much the biggest it can go. Now, we're not going to be able to see it the best because we're flying over here, but this whole area over here that we had kind of just deforested, uh, made ready for some buildings, I think it's about time we use it. We haven't built anything over here since, well, I guess the Llama Sanctuary is over here and the Pufferfish Aquarium, so you know what? What am I saying? We've been building over here. I'm thinking about right here, though, this specific area right next to the Llama Sanctuary. We could fit in some more trees in between, maybe fit a path going right along this side of that little custom ravine that we had built with all of the coral reef down here. Hey, we have an iron golem that's still down here. A couple days ago, I actually freed a turtle from down here, but it's kind of hard to get an iron golem from the bottom of here because they're, they're so heavy, they just sink. Anyways, let's hop out. I think... Oh, what's up, pup? How you been? Standing in the rain? Let's get you under this mushroom, dude. What are you doing? There you go. But yeah, I think setting up a path probably right here. We can... I don't know. Probably we can start to get that going just a little bit. And leading that over to the llama sanctuary probably would lead us to build something right around right here. Let's uh, let's start taking out all this grass with some water buckets. I'm probably going to end up using my favorite blocks as well, and that is some deep slate tiles along with some deep slate bricks every now and then for this build. Let's see what this map room can look like. Probably end up using some, you know what, why don't we use some mangrove wood as well? I'm thinking that this might not be the biggest build because it is just going to be holding some maps, but I mean, it could be bigger. I'm actually thinking we'll probably get a lot of this done live on Twitch, so feel free to stop by. And a couple of building hours later, we finally are getting to work on the second floor here. I can actually take a step down into here to show you guys what's going on. I feel like I'm seeing a vision right here. I want the map room to be able to go right here on the first floor. And by the way, check it out. Uh, we have never actually used polished basalt on the floor, but uh, we got it. Kind of looks nice. It looks like it's weaving into each other. I, I really do appreciate that look. And uh, actually... 
Uh, we're still working on the interior a bit. I'm going very, very slow. I'm probably going to end up doing a couple more streams on the exterior and interior of this, but uh, so far this seems to be working out. Go ahead and get some of these over here and probably scratch that there. Smack that there as well as that right there. We gotta put some doors here, and I like this little mini hallway under the stair. I don't know what I'm gonna put here yet, but, uh, some, you know what, we actually put some storage. I feel like we can put some barrels right here, actually, this might, no, wait, let's do this. Get the axe, and we'll take this guy out and just smack him right there. That's perfect. Smack a couple of these along the side. I also wanted to mention, uh, this, like, awning out front. I normally will have campfires for the most part, and actually, I mean, we can do that over here, too. We can have campfires going out on this end every other one I'm, i like doing the every other one with the spruce trap doors like what we have been doing probably scoot this one out maybe three or four more but uh yeah so we'll uh, go interchange the uh, spruce trap doors with the campfires that always looks nice I'm, I'm liking that a lot but right here i really didn't know what to do so i'm trying a couple different things out i don't know if the hopper is gonna work but it could i mean we could put it right into the fence that does look a little strange i th ah. That, I mean, that's all right. Something that you might have noticed in the uh, peripherals or uh, the audience. We have an audience. Yeah, we have seven people here that have come. They've showed up. They uh, they want to see what's going on. They want to potentially move in and uh, see what it's like. If any more people come over, I'm going to have to start charging for some tickets. This guy won't even look at me. I guess I won't charge him for anything. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that this build is most definitely hanging out in the water. And I pretty much need to take a bunch of dirt and build up the land. I thought that it was going to be okay, and we might even bring the building even further over this way. But for right now, I think it's the smart thing to do to probably bring the land out a little bit more. It's not that huge of a deal. We don't need to have the beach go over here. Probably end up building a dock somewhat over here anyways. Exactly pretty much right where these guys are sitting and that little salmon back there. Probably going to build a dock over there. Does feel good to get back into a little bit of mangrove building though because we feel like we've been neglecting mangrove for a couple episodes. We've been going into a lot of spruce, a lot of oak, but you know, trying to get back into some mangrove builds. I feel like when 1.20 comes out, I'm definitely going to be uh, overusing the cherry wood so i'm gonna use up as much mangrove wood as i can until that update comes i love taking mini flights over the build just to see exactly where we're at this thing is getting uh pretty tall as of right now i'm actually going down back to the bottom to get some plants down here because I don't know, i'm very i'm weird if you guys ever stop by on a live stream you will see my building process it's it's not very orthodox it's it's very weird i'm all over the place like we just finished the plants down here i even extended the building over a little bit so now i have to move the floor over here i started building the porch before i even built this first floor but now we're gonna move back up i think we should probably finish this roof i started working on a smaller roof right over here we have some campfires moving in and what i'll probably do is actually these jungle trap doors they look kind of nice with the color uh working against the campfires and the oak i actually like this so i'll keep adding these here probably we'll get maybe a jungle button or a spruce button up in here too i'm not sure this part right here we definitely needed to start raising this wall this is going to be an extra tall part of the building close this side up as well and you know what we'll have to do is most likely open this up for a window so we'll actually probably just take out five blocks here and get to moving on that windows not looking too shabby we can actually run in between here make smaller windows on this side going up with the oak logs go ahead and strip all this real quick and put a little bit of cover in the middle Lap some jungle trap doors and some jungle buttons kind of like we did for the rest of the roof our audience is slowly growing. We have more villagers showing up by the day. We even have uh, them. They're coming in in all shapes and sizes. We've already brought the dirt out quite a bit, but uh, we'll probably end up bringing it out a couple more blocks. If we go over here, I actually did completely forget about this little pond. We have completely changed the landscape back here. I mean, the water used to go all the way back here. We also got some trees planted, so when we take the thumbnail, you don't have to see any of the buildings behind. So we did extend the building. We have basically a whole new part. I put the floor in finally, I guess except for this. I, I don't know how I forgot that. And now that we have this little awning finished over here, for the most part, it kind of has got me thinking... I want to put another one over here. This little area in the front, it's it's starting to look a little bit uh, like plain. I don't. There's nothing in the front yard, like courtyard area. So I figured more campfires, more spruce trap doors right here couldn't hurt. Let's go ahead and maybe. Well, let's just see what it looks like. Let's see if this is just in the way or if it's gonna look somewhat good. Uh, you know, actually, I like that. It adds a little bit of depth to the front yard. 
Now the roof is looking nice in unison. I like all the color with the jungle and the oak and even the mangrove for all the pillars, but something that I have been avoiding and now I need to finish is right here. So, I mean, I guess I can put some trap doors up uh, right there and right there. Um, we'll have to definitely get more of these. But if we are talking about this, there's a couple things I kind of wanted to throw down. So maybe just one of these here and one of these here. Throw down some oak stairs up at the top. I wanted to get these out, get some lanterns in so that I could make room for a window here. Classic stairs, buttons, and jungle trap doors for the win. Now we can top off the middle with a little bit of this and a little bit of fern. Not looking too bad bad take a step back here i really yeah i love having the uh, the lanterns at the top and the i was about to say end rods at the bottom i didn't even put end rods here hold up now i can say that yeah i love having the lanterns at the top and the end rods at the bottom didn't even finish this trap door action here let's get that finished up also forgot a massive amount of buttons let's get that oh my god i'm out of buttons so we're finally starting to get to work on the interior. We have a long hallway here where I'm thinking a bunch of 3x3 three three maps might work. Actually, I have a bunch of item frames to be able to show you what I'm thinking. So if we actually just go right here, I'm thinking a bunch of 3x3 three three maps that uh, kind of cover different parts of lands that we've explored would be pretty cool if we slapped them up right here. Also, a giant 4x4 four four map on this wall is exactly what I think we need. The upstairs is going to be a tad bit more difficult to decorate just because it's uh, it's a little bit larger. Uh, this is what kind of the space that we have to work with right now. It's kind of like a giant studio apartment that we need to furnish. Started working on this outer balcony, and uh, we have this like Enderod chandelier that touches the ground. It's kind of weird, but I do like it. It's a little bit abstract. It's a... It's, pretty odd but it's gonna fit the building next step though that we got is trying to get all of these guys migrated on into the building these are gonna be our cartographers one by one I'm gonna let these guys in and I'm pretty sure there's no way for them to get out but uh, these guys are gonna take some positions right over here and uh, I think I'm gonna actually move some of them upstairs as well and of course it's raining let's uh, let's just get you out let's get you out let's get you out okay let's just get you out get you out you out and there are no more boats for them to take and actually right oh my god what's going on in the water over there okay actually i'm remembering right now that uh i don't want them to go upstairs just quite yet hold on guys hold on don't do it please don't do it let's do this let's go one two okay you're done i really hope i didn't leave anything open over here honestly i really should have Handle this a little bit better. Okay, you're good here. You're good here. Everything is closed. Probably going to have to remove these barrels because they're going to want to become fishermen. But uh, I don't know why some of them are still looking like they are farmers. But some of these guys have decided to take some positions. What I think I'm going to do is take these down one by one. And probably oh my, I'm sorry, dude. I am so sorry. That could have been bad. And I guess I'll have to go up here, put some stairs in, so they all just kind of start sliding back down. This is what you guys all asked for. Alrighty, so a couple of them started to take their jobs seriously as cartographers. Let's just kind of start, let's just start putting you guys into place here. There's just, we're going to let the water flows just kind of get you into there. We'll get you into there. And this guy over here. How about you just get caught in that water path right there. And we'll just put you back in. Nope, nope, nope. You're going the wrong way, sir. We'll get you in there, sir. I think you need to get stuck. There we go. Now you're in there for life. Uh, you guys, you're all cartographers now. Floating back on over to the sugarcane farm. We haven't been here in a while. We used to do a lot of paper trades, but not so much anymore. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just take out some of this manually, and then we can walk on down, get some of that stuff from the automatic farm. Turn this stuff into paper real quick, and let's actually just run in here and do a couple of mini trades to get these guys permanently cartographers thank you sir you are no longer a novice you are now one of those grand apprentices that we always keep hearing about bringing over a couple more recruits because some of these guys are still just trying to attach themselves to these composters actually you know what i'm actually let's just do it let's take out these composters it's something that i didn't necessarily want to do right now because i'm gonna have to go put, put them back later but uh, hopefully these guys just run in and take their uh, cartographer jobs don't even try to think about escaping Let's just run this guy over. You know what? Let's uh, let's put that in here. I will break this. Break this. We'll run the boat. And these guys are probably going to try to escape. Let's just go bam, bam. Good to go, my friend. You can get out and uh, do what you want to do. You can start a whole new life in this building. Don't know where you think you're going, bud, but I'm going to smack you into place. Let's, uh, 
Let's go this way. You know, get in there, sir. Get right in there. Thank you very much. Gonna trade with you, sir. Let's get some of these little emeralds. Let's go over here, sir. I'll trade with you and we'll go down here. I think you need a couple of trades, sir. Let's get you back out of there. For the most part, we got these guys all in their place, but uh, this guy, this is the last guy. He's a little stubborn. I need to just keep on placing water blocks until he gets in the right spot. I'm kind of just tossing him back and forth right now. It's kind of funny. All right, bud, you're getting, you're going right up this tunnel. Stop trying to go against it. Yep, get up. There you go. Okay, let's go up here. I'm going to follow you. You're going to, stop spinning, dude. You're going to take this job. Okay, you stay right here. Uh, I think I forgot. I forgot the last one. I forgot the last cartography table for this guy. Oh my god, it's actually right here. Never mind. Let's uh, let's try to replace it real fast. Stay right there, sir. You got it. Okay, now we can take our bed back. All right, we got a little bit of stuff in the upstairs going on. Uh, now there is nobody free roaming. The downstairs is pretty much complete, if I do say so myself. I'll take this down. So I actually just had that up as a way for the villagers not to be able to get upstairs we have 16 of them set up here now i'm gonna set up barrels here i wasn't able to do that before now we can roam freely we can put plants where we want we can take that door down we can even look at the potential maps to be on the wall now we can finally get some decoration going over here we'll put a couple of those up and i think we can probably finish this off here just a little bit actually i think no that that's gonna work out that looks pretty nice we finally have a little bit of area going we could actually do that that's a little bit better all right this build is looking absolutely crazy and i know i did say that i was gonna make this a map room it actually just ended up being a just straight up cartography center this is just a big old trading hall right now and i actually need to take out this last fence right here because these guys are not free roaming anymore but thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Feel free to join anytime for a live stream on Twitch. It is twitch.tv slash waxfraud. Yeah, this is this is one of the craziest starter houses that uh, we've ever made. And it's actually just a trading hall now. Next episode, we are going to be turning it into a map room as well. We need to be mapping it out. We didn't really have time on this episode. But next episode, we're going to start mapping everything out. Thank you guys for watching. Do appreciate you. Have a good time. Bye.